In this tutorial, you'll learn about how to use the Pick Tool. The Pick Tool lets you scale, rotate, and transform your images and elements. I'll show you how to use this tool to select, move, rotate, transform, or resize anything on the canvas. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. I have a photograph opened up in PaintShop Pro opened in the complete workspace. To use the Pick tool, select the arrow icon in the Tools toolbar. Alternatively, you can press K on your keyboard. You can see that a bounding box with handles will appear. On the Pick Tool Options palette, you can precisely scale and transform by setting specific values in any of the boxes. Or you can click and drag on the handles to manually adjust these values to your liking. As you drag on the control handles, you will manipulate many of the variables you see in the Tool Options palette. Click on the element on the canvas to select it. While using the Pick tool, we can click and drag the element to move it wherever we want to on our canvas. To resize an element while keeping the current proportions, select the layer and left-click while dragging on one of the corner handles. If you want to resize the layer while changing the current proportions, you can right-click while dragging a corner handle. To change the center of rotation, you can drag the rotation pivot point. Another way to rotate an element or layer is to hover your mouse over one of the corner edges and click and drag the rotation handle. We can also change the perspective of an image. If you want to change the perspective symmetrically, hold down Ctrl on your keyboard and drag a corner handle horizontally or vertically. If you want to change the perspective asymmetrically, hold down Ctrl plus Shift and drag a corner handle either horizontally or vertically. We can also shear an image using the Pick tool. Shearing skews an image vertically or horizontally. To shear an image, hold down Shift and drag a side handle. You can also distort an image which stretches or contracts it in any direction. To distort an image, hold down Ctrl plus Shift and drag a side handle. You can see in the Tool Options palette that we are currently in the Scale mode, which is the default setting. While in the Scale mode, you must use the Ctrl plus Shift keys discussed previously to shear and transform your images. However, if you want to distort an image without holding down keys, you can choose one of the other mode settings on the Tool Options palette. The Shear mode lets you shear without holding down Shift. The Perspective mode lets you change perspective without holding down Control. And the Free mode lets you distort without holding down Control plus Shift. You can also select the Reset Rectangle button from the Tool Options palette if you want to reset the deformation rectangle to its original shape but keep any current deformations. All of these Pick Tool options are especially useful if you are working with multiple layers. As a demonstration, let's open up the Layers palette by going to Palettes, then Layers. Let's say you want to make a post for social media using this image. Go to Edit, then Copy, and then go to your background image and go to Edit, Paste as New Layer. Choose the layer you want to transform from the Layers palette and use the Pick tool to move, rotate, resize, and transform the layer using any of the methods I showed you previously. The Pick tool is also useful when you're adding text to an image, as you can easily move, rotate, and reposition the text exactly to your liking. Note that the tool options are different when using the Pick tool on a vector object, like text or shapes, versus a raster object. If you want to use the raster tool options like mode settings or entering an angle, you'll need to convert the vector layer to raster first. You can do this by right-clicking on the vector layer from the Layers palette and selecting Convert to Raster Layer. You can have fun transforming your images and making your own custom designs easily using the Pick tool in PaintShop Pro. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. 
Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for PaintShop Pro.